Uh, welcome to the Fifth Dimensional Academy of Higher Consciousness. This is Zarathustra broadcasting live from Los Angeles. Today is August 28th. We're going to begin with a 15-minute meditation. And um, this time when we're going to be doing our meditation, for, um, uh, I want you to just bring your attention inwards, sink in, and, and as you're turning your attention inwards, I would like you to visualize that you can see your spine. Your spinal cord has become transparent. And you're seeing your spinal cord as light. And so, and it's flashing. It's like you can see this light and you can see energies moving through your spinal cord. So let's do that for a moment. Close your eyes and visualize your spinal cord and see that it's made out of light. And in this visualization, at this moment, just leave its color alone. Don't bother yourself with the color at this moment. Just see that it's becoming like liquid. And now just see, pay attention to its color and see what color it's got. When I do it myself at this moment, I see golden light. And if that works for you, you visualize golden light as well. And as you're doing this, I would like you to see that this golden light from your spinal cord it's connected to the planet Earth. It keeps, it goes way down to the center of Earth. And as well as connecting the center of Earth coming all the way through your spinal cord and moving up to the crown chakra and it shoots up all the way into the space. And now I would like you to take a deep breath. And when you're breathing, as you're breathing in, the light is coming from the planet, deep center of the planet Earth. The light is moving up as you're breathing in. And it moves within you, goes through your spinal cord, which is already made out of light. It's liquid. And it goes all the way to your crown chakra. So when you breathe in, you're bringing the light from the earth. And as you breathe out, the light shoots out from your crown chakra into the cosmos, into the space. So go ahead and do this a few times. Just relax into the process. Try to do this as effortlessly as possible. And now, with every breath you take, I would like you to invite, consciously, you're inviting this light to bring in the wisdom of the planet Earth into your body and into your existence, 
incorporating the wisdom of planet Earth by every breath you take into your presence, in your existence, and allowing the wisdom to take over. <coughs> allowing the wisdom to recalibrate and to change you in cellular memory and rewrite the blueprint of your existence by brand new information, by the wisdom, the, the knowing, the intelligence that this old ancient planet has acquired throughout its existence. And now it's transferring its intelligence it's knowing, it's knowledge to you. It allows you to have access to ancient wisdom. And it's filling you up with light. and relaxed into that. Allow that to flow through you with every breath you take and keep in mind that I recommend you do this as effortlessly as possible. Allow the light to flow through your being through your body. And some of you may feel a tingling in your spinal cord. You may be feeling a tingling in your back part of your body as you breathe in and as you breathe out. You may be feeling it all the way through your neck and through your third eye and your crown chakra, that something is tingling. Something is moving, something's touching you, something is enlightening you and is bringing light and wisdom and love. And it's possible for some of you, while you're going through this practice, it's possible you may experience pain. That's okay. You may experience some unwanted emotions, and that's fine too, because the planet Earth is transferring its wisdom to you. And the planet Earth has witnessed many, many different things throughout its existence. And just keep breathing in and out, be fluid, relax your body, don't be contracted, try not to at least, and try to be as effortless as possible. Don't force anything, allow the intelligence of your body, of your being, to do the work 
effortlessly. Similarly to your heart works effortlessly. Your digestion works effortlessly. You don't have to think about it. It happens automatically. Same thing here. As you relax into this process of wisdom and light traveling through your spinal cord and the entire being, you experience a sense of warmth and relaxation and you will experience protected by the forces of light traveling into your body since you have invited them. And some of you may feel like you're being lifted off of your chair, levitating into space. And you will feel increased energy in your being. Just relax into this and allow the process to take over. And enjoy it. To simply allow the love and the light to take over your presence, your being, and melt into the intelligence, the presence, the being, the force, the spirit that is here and taken over. And slowly, slowly drop all resistance. As you allow and you drop your resistance, a sense of surrender to what is takes over. And the recognition of the presence of Her Majesty, the Supreme Soul, becomes more apparent. that indeed you are taken care of, indeed you are surrendered by love and light. Thank you.
as you're melting into the oneness, as you are merging into the the divine consciousness, the presence of the being. You experience a shift in your being. Something's changing rapidly. You experience that you're weightless and you're floating in space. And at moments you can't identify your physical definitions of the body as it has and is dissolving into the space. The expansion is taking over. Your minds become quiet. You know that you are, but you are not anything in specifically. Simply allow, and as you're breathing in and out, allow the light, the love, and the divine intelligence to completely take over. Let go of your control, your sense of control. Don't force yourself to understand this or control it. Allow it to just be. Breathe into it and trust that the higher intelligence that operates the entire existence has been at work before you were born and will continue doing its thing after you leave your physical body. That divine intelligence is at work right now and it knows exactly what it's doing and you can trust in that. Allow this force, this intelligence to rewrite your bl blueprint. Allow it to transfer the wisdom of planet Earth into your existence and brings you in alignment 
with yourself and the rhythm and the breath of the planet Earth. Take a deep breath and let go. One more time, take a deep breath and let go. Again, take a deep breath and let go. Let the intelligence that is flowing through your body has come from the center of planet Earth and has gone through your body from your spinal cord to bring its wisdom and its healing heals your body, clears your mind, balances your emotions, allows you to operate clearly and give you the hawk vision so you can see things from above and you can see your path you can see where you're going and you can make your decisions from a space and a place of clarity with wisdom and love Slowly, slowly. Start to see this light that is coming from the planet of Earth. Begin now to visualize that it's bringing intelligence into your presence, into your body. And it's clearing all the confusion that has cluttered your way of being, your way of thinking, that has created imbalance in your emotional body. Just see that this wisdom is taking over and changing everything in the cellular memory and rewriting Replacing old information with brand new inf information. Intelligence is taking over. And healing is taking place. Allow your body to receive the light and get healed. Allow your mind to become clear. The fear and anxiety and doubts 
to disappear. Allow your heart to open up to light. Allow yourself to receive the love which is here and present. It's always here to penetrate into every atom of your being. Allow yourself to love yourself. And to be able to reflect this love that you experience in your every moment of your life to be reflected back to others. Others as a reflection of yourself, as an extension of yourself, not separated from you. And have compassion and patience for those who haven't gone to this transformation yet. Be patient with them. The love and light that you're emanating from your being is reaching to others as well. And it takes time for them to go through the transformation that you are going through and you have gone through. So practice patience, practice compassion, be forgiving. And just a lot. Put your ideas away. How things should be or should not be. Let your mind to be free of concepts. Spiritual concepts. Ideas. Of good and bad. Right and wrong. Go beyond that. Go to your innocence. Go through the very purity of your being. Go back to the time you were born, that you had no idea, no judgment, that how things should be. And you viewed things as they were, without any pre-notion of how things should turn out or should be or you would like him to be. Go beyond that to free yourself and free everyone else. And allow your being, your body, your presence in this moment to be the beacon of love. Let God to come through you to blast love and light through you in this moment to the entire planet, to your family, friends, people you love, your neighbors, your enemies. Blast your enemies with love and light and send this love and light to all other nations, tribes, those who need this, those tribes, those nations, that are in war, in conflict, in poverty, in hunger. Send them your love and light and bring them in, into this powerful vortex of the presence. Include them and be patient. Practice patience and compassion as the most powerful reward of patience is more patience.
as we gather together in this moment in the name of love and light. You can sense the high frequency vibrations taking over all your body. You may not even feel your hands or your legs or parts of your body. You can feel the higher vibrations. You can feel maybe some parts of your body as strongly vibrating or shaking or have become numb. That's because you have aligned your awareness with the cosmic consciousness. And you're taking a leap from suffering to super consciousness. And that's the direction that we choose to go. That's the direction and the path that's been written for us. And that's our mission in this life. To reach super consciousness. To go beyond the good and bad. To go beyond the duality and the separation. The illusion of separation. The illusion that there are others. There is evil. There is good. And that can hurt us. We will rise above that. This is the birth of the Superman. Now slowly, slowly come back, slowly, slowly come back to your body. Slowly, slowly come back to feeling your hands, feeling your legs. I know you have gone pretty high up and you're vibrating from a higher frequency in this moment. But I want you to slowly, slowly come back to your physical body. and bring this wisdom that you acquired while being in a higher dimension and operating from a higher frequency. Bring this wisdom, bring this knowing back into your physical body, to your everyday 
activities of knowing that you are a multidimensional being. And even if during the day you're completely caught into everyday life and you get encountered by fears, anxieties, worries, or challenges of everyday life, have this know-how that when you dive inside yourself, you reach God consciousness as you have now, and you reach and you travel into other dimensions by raising your vibrations to higher frequencies. And this other reality is available to you and it goes with you wherever you go. And you can never lose this. It's a part of your being. If it wasn't a part of your being, you wouldn't be able to reach it. You wouldn't be able to access it. It would have been a concept. It would have been some information. It would have been some kind of intellectual understanding but not an actual physical experience that physically you could access it. It's your connection to your higher self. If you're, it's your leap into super consciousness. It's your connection to your fifth dimensional self that gives you the know-how. You can call it your intuition. But all your intuitive knowing, all the things that in this life that you know without even going through any kind of retreats or training, that you already know what to do, what to say, despite of what other people say, where to turn, how to find something, all of it comes from your connection with your higher self. And there is no separation between your higher self. Your higher self is not an object someplace else. It's here, part of yourself all the time present. Continuously in communication with its own other parts, its lower self, its information goes back and forth at all times. So you have access to the wisdom and the intelligence that is here. You have access to this intelligence, this wisdom is available for you all the time. You can't lose this. You only lose it when you fall asleep and you forget who you really are and you get very identified with the world. The world that you're perceiving and you're sensing to your five senses and you really believe this world is real. And in that belief, it does become real and very frightening and very threatening. As you can see, a large mass of population on this planet 
they live in fear and anxiety and they're subject to emotional ups and downs constantly based on the kind of the news they receive so they're up and down and they are very highly invested into the world that they perceive as their reality through their five senses very much engaged in it so then they try to control it they try to change it they're very invested into changing the world the other world into their own liking so it gives them comfort and that doesn't work it just simply doesn't work because it's not real you can't change something to your liking which doesn't exist it's an imagination so it won't work and it just brings you more disappointment and more suffering that's not how you do it you raise your own vibrations you elevate yourself And all the tools you need are here already available for you. Always been here. And always will be here. But now we're tuning into it. We are accessing our intuition. We have the first contact. We've been contacted by our higher self. We've been touched, tapped, and called home come home come back and some of us this process for a lot of us has to happen through shock treatment a powerful shock needs to happen so we perceive that we look at it as a bad thing happened like i got in a car accident and i broke my leg i someone in my family died uh, i lost my home and my, I married, my wife left me, took my kids and it took my assets and everything or my husband left me or blah, blah, blah. Some of us need shock treatment to wake up because the, our higher self is trying to grab our attention. And of course, this happens when you're ready. Things happen to a lot of people on the planet but they're not ready and they don't hear it. They don't get the message. And for us who have been on the path and we've been working on ourselves, whether we decided to do it or it just somehow it happened, that's another story. And we're not going to get into that. But we're here now. And we get contacted. We get messages. And like what happened right now, we went into this place and you raised your vibrations in a much higher frequency and then you dissolve you disappear and it's beautiful because you arrive to god god's head you arrive at this place of freedom complete freedom away from everything else And it's very groovy, and this is where you know, wow, this is it. I love this. I want to be here all the time. This is the groove. Because you recognize it. It's beyond your thoughts. It's beyond your emotions. And it's, most important, importantly, it's beyond the separation. It's beyond the illusion of separation it's the oneness so we recognize it very quickly we may not have a point of reference of saying that oh 
this is the oneness versus what? You know, if it's, boy, this is really great. I really felt high. I feel really calm. I feel wonderful. So we may not have words for it. But down deep, you know this is it. This is the place. Because it overpowers everything else. Everything else disappears at the presence of the light. All shadows go away. So when you do your work and you still you remain connected, you remain connected and you remember this and you connect to it regularly and then it takes over your life and then it's not something that you only do for 10 minutes when you're meditating it's something that is continuously there you begin to see its presence more and more in your everyday life It's not then something that we go to a retreat in Ore and you feel it, or we're having a workshop that you feel it, or we're doing our academy that you feel it. You begin to feel it during the day in every facet of your life. It may not be as powerful as we're working right now together because you have to be able to use your working mind to operate and that's very natural but the connection is continuously there it's similarly to when you have your phone and let's say you have a phone plan that has internet you, you can send text, make phone calls, and you have access to internet. You don't use the internet all the time, but the connection is there. So when you need to browse through and surf through the internet, then you just Google whatever you need, or you access YouTube or Spotify, music, whatever you want, but you're not using it all the time. It's there. The connection is there. And the same thing is here with reaching super consciousness, arriving at the 5D quantum awareness in this other level. Is that you have, create, you have connected and you have the connection and you're aware and connected to it at all times. You know it's there. And it's a regularly you tap into it. And it gets stronger and stronger and it becomes more constant. So what happens, it starts taking over your life. And there is more of that connection happening throughout the day and less of this disconnection. It starts to change. Because right now, for most people, on, even people on the path, let's say 90%, 95% of their daily life, they don't feel the connection. They go fall into this duality place. And the world is mean and they have to struggle in life. And they're victim of their emotional ups and downs and the mind wants to go crazy and then you know you come and sit and meditate and you come together with a group of friends you do it by yourself you're with your teacher or whatever is the setting and then you come back into it and you remind it and you reconnect it but then the rest of the time you are in duality and that's what we're doing here is to reverse that. We have started the process of the journey from the head to the heart. We have began this 
process, it's already in motion of from suffering to super consciousness, to raise our vibrations to a higher frequency through the work we do. So then we bring ourselves one step at a time, one notch at a time, and staying there, not falling back, step by step going into this higher frequency life, which you're more connected. You get more connected. And as this is happening, as you're viewing the world outside the other world, the other world becomes, it starts to lose its texture and its grip of a separated reality. It begins to dissolve. It gets fuzzy. As you go slowly, slowly to a higher frequency, you begin to see that this world that looks very vicious and mean and full of turmoil, you begin to see A is not separated from you, B is not that real. It loses its grip. It loses its, it is real. It's relatively real because of course you have manifested in it. You have become, you were born into it. I'm not saying that if right now something hits your arm really hard, your arm won't break and you won't have, you won't be hurt or cut your arm. So I'm not saying, oh, this is illusion. Your arm didn't break. I'm not saying that. It's relatively, it's real. But as you're raising your vibration to a higher frequency and you experience what we experienced just 10, 15 minutes ago, that you become more liquid, you're becoming more light, you're becoming really expanded, in that process, you begin to see that the physical world and the world that appears to be, it's not really that real. So the shift begins to happen and your consciousness is rising. And you don't have to worry about a lot of these things. You just do the work. It will take over as it ha already has. It has already directed you and keeps showing you the next step. It's carrying you from one step to another step. So even this process of it is not something we need to really worry about it. It's something that it's automatically taking place because it feels good, because you know down deep it's right. So it just pulls you in by itself. Okay. Do you have any uh, questions in reference to what we have been talking about? Or any comments anybody would like to share of their experience or? Elle has, has her hand up, honey, uh, and so does Hilden wanted to know about trusting the process. Okay, so can you... Um, I unmute Elhas. Yeah. Okay, she's unmuted. Yeah, hello? Hi, El. Hi. Hi, Zartos, and hi, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, hi, hello. Welcome back. It was a great uh, meditation. Um... Um, I don't know. I have a lot of fear. I want to let uh, the light come in. Um, but since I, uh, we are going through like a lawsuit and uh, logical things, it's, <laughs> it's a little bit um, difficult. Okay. A lot of fear because there is a lot of manipulations, a lot of things from the other side, which is the bank and they have the power and authority 
and the lawyer is okay. very manipulative. And right now, he made us like scared our lawyers, so it feels right. like we are lawyerless. Okay, okay. So, what is your question, honey? I need my power um, to change things. To my power to clear things. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So let me ask you a question. Um, when we were in this place, when we were doing our meditation, and did you feel connected? Uh. Not really, but I saw I had the light, uh, but in my heart, right now, it's I'm feeling. No, I'm talking about the moment we were meditating. I'm not talking about right now. So let's go back to those moments that you were doing your meditation. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I was, I could see I, the light, the only thing my heart, uh, it's, I want to fill up with light. I understand, but, but you didn't answer my question. My question is that when you, we were doing the meditation, uh, where did you go? How, what did you feel? Um, Um, <laughs> I didn't go to where you think I was supposed to go. Okay, so, so again, you didn't answer my question. So I'm asking you a direct question, and if you give me a direct answer. When we were doing the work, what happened? Where did you go? I'm not saying where you were supposed to go. I'm asking you what happened where did you go what happened to you what did you feel um i i could feel uh that space i could see i could see that space of uh freedom but here in my heart i couldn't feel it okay so I have fear. Okay, fear came. Fear of, I'm afraid, fear of trusting myself because things happen. Before. Right, right. You're going through a life turmoil right now and the very strong things happening with the lawyer, lawsuit, and all these stuff. And so you're going through a storm in life right now. Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to ask you to do something right now. In this moment, are you feeling the fear? How, how do you feel in this moment? Uh, it's not as fear as before. Uh, right now, it's um, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to be. So, so right now, you're experiencing fear, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. You said you're afraid. Okay. Okay. I want you to just for a few seconds, for five seconds, 10 seconds, can you relax into this fear? Can you just relax into it? You have fear. I'm not saying don't, don't be frightened. I'm not saying push it away. I'm saying relax into it. Can you just relax into the fear right now? Can you just take a, take a breath and just stay in this fear right now? Okay. So tell me what's happening right now. Do you feel an ex expansion? Do you feel like something disappeared? No. You know? No. What I was feeling or seeing, it was like all those uh, frauds that 
uh, that bank lawyer and the bank they do uh, is behind us. Okay. And they do it out of fear. Right. Okay. So, so when you take a deep breath and you relax into this whole fear, more fear comes? Is that what you're saying? Um, I think it's their fear, which I feel maybe. You think it's what? Maybe it is their fear that I feel. Okay, yeah, but I'm just talking to you, so that's the most important thing. I don't care what they do or what has happened. I'm talking about you in this moment, where you're at, okay? So when you take a deep breath and you just try to relax into the fear, not pushing the fear away, just take a, take a breathing into the fear. What happens? Try that one time. Try it first, honesty, and then let's see what happens. Okay. Is there, uh, is there anything, anything opens up? Anything relaxes? Anything disappears? It's or like more fear comes. More fear comes. Okay. Cool. Okie dokie. So what I want you to do, you remember what I told you last, I think it was last week or two weeks ago. Did you do that practice I gave you? Um, which one was that? Okay. I did at that time. Right. Okay. All right. So right now, this is what I want you to do. And then we'll come back again. So either I'll get back to you this time or I'll get back to you next week. But this is what I want you to do. I want you to do a practice. Okay? Yes. I want you for about 10, 15 minutes. Don't look at your, this situation, the lawyers, the lawsuits, whatever is happening. I want you to see them, to look at it as an extension of yourself. Not as somebody else, not as a mean corporation or someone manipulating to sue you or take away things from you, but as an extension of yourself. They're not separated from you. So I want you to play with this for 15 minutes and then we'll we'll come back to talk to each other again, okay? Okay, say it again, how do, how do I do it? I want you to look at them, these them, who are whomever they are, okay? The situation you're in, you're saying that you're in a lawsuit and they're, they're manipulating the situation, they're lying, they're doing whatever they're doing. I want you to look at them, not as them separated from you, but them as an extension of yourself, as a reflection of yourself. Shift the way you're looking at it. Not them, but them as yourself, as an aspect of yourself. I would like you to look at it like that. Do that for 15 minutes. And then we talk again, okay? Okay, thank you so right. much. I really okay. appreciate it. Yeah. Hi, Hilda. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a great speech today, by the way. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. I'm glad you were here. All of you were here so we could share this together. Yeah. Uh, and you have a question for me, right? Yeah, you know, sometimes I can be a little bit uh, impatient, you know. I want that everything should have happened almost till the yesterday. So how can I trust the process when I'm sitting there, you know? How can I trust life? <laughs> <laughs> Just be in silence, huh? 
Okay, so sometimes maybe it's better that that we look at it different this other way. So let's say you don't trust life. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, let's practice this. Let's not trust life. Yes. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So just do that for a couple of minutes or a minute and tell me how, how do you feel? Like, don't trust life. What does it make you? I want you to just really dive into it that you're not trusting life and see what happens, what comes for you. A lot of doubts, fear, anxiety. Don't, don't trust life. Life is out there to screw you. Mm -hmm. and, no, no, fear comes, you know. Yeah. Fear, fear, the stomach, fear comes. Yeah, and it's not fun, is it? No. Yeah, but dive into it. I just, just don't give me a quick answer. I want you to dive into it. Feel it. Just mm -hmm. going into this, that trust is very, life is very vicious and you're not trusting it. And any moment, you know, something can happen or a boogeyman can show up from somewhere and, and eat you. And uh, they may, you may walk out, out of your, your house and you may be kidnapped, uh, beaten up, raped. Your money can be stolen. You could be abused. And just don't trust life. Go into that place and mm -hmm. see what happens. And you have to worry about your heart beating every moment because you're not trusting life. And um, so you need to really count how many times your heart is going to beat because you may sleep tonight and then you don't wake up or your heart doesn't do its work. And I also you want to worry about your hair because your body may just betray you and not grow hair and you may lose all of your, the hair on your head. And then life may betray you and you won't be able to see anymore. So you may become blind. And since, you know, you can't trust anybody, you can't trust your neighbors because uh, if you let them inside your house, they may steal from you or rape you or beat you up. So go to this place. I want you to just really feel it. Okay. Yes. How does that feel? I've become so tired, so I just have to surrender. It's exhausting, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's very exhausting to be engaged with distrusting life it takes a lot of energy and your attention and it's full on and it's not fun because it's requiring effort yes and it's not natural it's a lot easier when you just relax into what is and you don't have to be in control and you don't have to constantly figure out how things are being done. And you allow the process of life to take its course and do what it does. It will do what it wants to do anyway because it's much bigger than you and I. But when you get in the way, then you're the one who suffers yes. and gets hurt. Otherwise, life doesn't give a shit. It doesn't care. And it's not doing its function for your validation. It's not waiting for you and I to validate life. It will do what it wants to do. It feels quite liberating to think like that, you know, to just feel that. Yeah. Sometimes you have to go to the other side 
to realize it's easier because maybe I can sit down and talk about trust life, trust the process, and we don't feel it or we can't do it. But then you go to the opposite. Okay, don't trust life. And then all of a sudden, it's just so uncomfortable mm. and so frightening. That was a very good technique. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so every time doubt comes, it's, it's the nature of the mind. It's the nature of the existence of suffering to create doubt, to create fear. But let me clear something. Fear is not always a bad thing. Doubt is not always a bad thing. And actually, in a way, they help you to raise your awareness to a higher level. Fear, doubt, anxiety, things like that, sometimes are necessary to, come, to be in our lives because they push you to go beyond your own limitations and things you never thought you can achieve. But it is the nature of the mind the nature of the suffering to do create doubts, fear, and things like that. So once you do the practice and you've come to a meditative life, you begin to identify, you begin to see what is illusion and what is real. And then when you fall into a place like this that you're really doubting to trust life, and you get over it and you go around it. So that was an opportunity for you to separate the illusion from reality. Yes. So they're not always a bad thing. They, they appear and they manifest to really teach us what we need to learn and pushes us to go beyond. So that was a wonderful question. I'm glad you brought it up. And you always bring up great questions. I appreciate it. I think you can have it in writing. <laughs> in writing. In not, writing. Not, not the ego wants some kind of validation. Yeah. I was just joking with you now. I know you're joking. I know that. And I'm joking back. So. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. All Nothing the... to worry about. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, my beautiful brothers, sisters, it's so nice to have you and be with you again, once again, uh, the members of the 5D Academy, as well as uh, all of my brothers, sisters all over the world, and those are where I'm connecting with through Instagram and Facebook and, of, of course, our uh, system from our academy. Thank you for being with me. Um, I will be broadcasting next Wednesday, same time. And uh, the academy is going to keep going until uh, when I go on my European tour, which begins uh, the first week of October. I begin, I start from... Uh, Warsaw and uh, Poland and then I go to Germany, Norway and I finish my tour in Sweden. Um, I have four major workshops. Uh, the, my uh, first workshop which is and there's many events uh, these many events we have like the shamanic circle, uh, third eye activation, I have many events, but my workshops, my, my major, first major workshop is a four-day workshop in Warsaw, Poland. And that is a third eye activation and heart awakening, self-love, self-acceptance. I haven't done this workshop for a few years. So, so I will be doing it for the first time in about three, four years. The last time I did it, I think I was in Norway. Um, after that, I will be going to uh, Germany, to Frankfurt, and I'm doing a Return to Love workshop, and it's going to be a three-day workshop. 
So if you're interested in any of these subjects, then maybe if you're in Europe, you can fly in and, and be with me at, in any of these cities. Uh, uh, following uh, Frankfurt, I will be going to Hamar, Norway, to uh, see my dear sister Hilde Evenstad. And we're doing a two and a half day workshop, which is the 5D, the, uh, discover the power of the 5D quantum awareness. And uh, I will be there for what a week. Uh, we have a shamanic circle going on there, and then I see some clients. And then after that, I'll be flying to Stockholm and visit my dear sister, Anneli. And uh, I have come up with a new workshop. It's called From Freedom, From Suffering to Super Consciousness. And I will be offering this workshop for the first time in Stockholm, Sweden. And that's going to be in the first week of November. Um, I'm not going to get into the dates because I don't remember all the exact dates, but you're welcome to check out my website. I've redone my website. It looks uh, very clean and uh, there's a lot of information. There's a lot of things to read, a lot of videos to watch. Um, so if you have a moment, just check, up, check out my new website. It's zaratustra.tv. And uh, you're welcome to keep connected with us. If you find something, there's a typo or there's an error, please write back to us and let us know and we correct it. Uh, or something's off alignment, I would appreciate if you let us know. Uh, Shishi and I and Amir have been relentlessly in past three weeks working literally set six days, seven days a week to get this web website up and running and keeping it as informative as possible with having a lot of different text, writings, as well as videos that we have in it. And there's a section of, uh, we have created of questions and answers. And if you have any ideas, you have any questions that you want me to answer, please write back to me and I'll be more than happy to uh, look at it and see if it fits in our website and I'll put it in. I would appreciate feedbacks. Feel free to get back to me. Okay, Ms. Chishi, did I miss anything? I'm gonna unmute you. No, I think you hit all the major workshops. No, and our new email is intact or we're working on it? It's info at zaratustra.tv. Is it working or? I'm not sure yet, I think. Right, okay. Presently, you, if you are going to email to me, it's uh, info at fifthdhealing.com. But we're, we're changing the email. Uh, you're also welcome to uh, connect with me on Facebook or Instagram. And also we have the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. It's an open group on Facebook, which you're always welcome to write your comments on it and con connect with us. This uh, broadcast will, is, is recorded and those of you who are members of the Academy will be sending it to you in next few days. And feel free if you feel like going through it or you feel like someone else can benefit from this broadcast, uh, please go ahead and forward the email to them. Uh, also, um, pretty much regularly after the broadcast, we edit the, the broadcast and we put it on both Facebook as well as my YouTube channel. And uh, so there's many different ways that we can keep connected to each other. And if you do want to watch this broadcast again, you have the opportunity to do it. I send you all my love and light, and I look forward to connecting with you next week. Namaste.